All right, guys, like we said, it's a quick turnaround. We are headed to Arkansas today. So we're gonna break this up into two days. We're gonna stop in Dallas, and we're gonna go to Waco again so Nick can see it. And then we're gonna head through to Arkansas tomorrow. So we've been getting a ton of questions about how we travel with this girl and um, just how we make all of that work. So this video is going to be mainly showing you what I pack for her, what she needs, what makes it easier, all of that kind of stuff, and then our trip to Arkansas. You driving? You gonna drive this bus? Why's your tongue out? Why's your tongue out? Potty break or something. Nobody. What do people want to see? This is real life. People potty every day. We are about an hour away from Waco, but we've been in the car for a few hours, so we stopped at Chick fil A to get Scout a little break and us a little food. So we're at Chick fil A. Scouty. for the day. If you go to Magnolia Market, there is an actual parking lot. So if you go on South 8th Street, um, it's Webster and 8th, right here, right, 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 right. Um, Webster and 8th, there's a free parking lot behind the market. So I know last time I came, it was, it was during um, school hours <laughs> And there's a lot of parking lots around the area, but they charge. So, go to the free parking lot. It's behind um, the actual buildings. bowls for her <laughs> so we have these little bowls for her that collapse we have one for food and one for water but it's lunchtime so I wanted to show you guys kind of how we do that on the road um, the other one I keep in my purse for water and I keep a water bottle for her so everywhere we are um, she has water in a water bowl so the food she eats is called Nutro I'll link it below um, I do recommend if you're getting a puppy um, we started her on something else and that brand didn't have a large breed puppy so we went from puppy food to now the large breed puppy um, so we did have to switch her to a new brand so Nutro is great because if you have a large puppy they're gonna need something in between the puppy and adult so we have her on that she likes the lamb is what she eats and we give her about a cup a little over a cup three times a day uh, we like to feed our girl
we made it to Dallas. So we are now in the hotel. Scout is a registered emotional support animal. So we do get a lot of questions about um, how we travel with her, with hotels and stuff. So we take her registration everywhere with us and if people ask to see it, we of course show it to them. Um, and then the other thing that we do is we have a Scout backpack. So we obviously it's super gross and dirty, but we take this everywhere with us and we just keep her stuff in it so we know that her stuff is with us at all times as long as we have the backpack. So I'm gonna take you through a few things that we always bring. So the first is I always bring her shampoo. We use Burt's Bees for puppies. It's a two-in-one tearless shampoo and conditioner. I have not brought this before and this girl finds a puddle no matter where we go and usually they're half mud. So um, I found that bringing this just in case we need it has been clutch. These are bully sticks. I know some people think that these are the grossest thing in the world. You can Google them to find out what they are. Um, but we call it Scout's Pacifier because since she was a little baby, these are the only things that really work with her. Um, so she chews on these all the time. We always bring her little brush. We got this one at Petco and um, it seems to be gentle enough on her fur, but it works well enough to um, grab stuff. You can see hairs floating everywhere. Um, she does shed, but uh, you know, that's just kind of part of having a golden retriever. I always have a water bottle or two in her backpack just in case we get stuck somewhere without water. Um, we have those little fold up bowls that I already showed you guys. So I keep a water bottle in here just to, oh, you okay? This we just bought and I'm super excited about it. It's a treat bag. So when we're on the road and stuff, I can work with her and with her training and stuff. So it just clips on to my uh, pants or whatever and then I have treats handy when we're training and then the other thing we do bring is toys She loves her rope. This is good. It's supposed to be kind of like floss for dogs So you can see she's already trying to <laughs> play with it. So that's a good one for her The other one is a Kong so we do bring peanut butter, which is also down in the car um, We can fill this full of peanut butter and it keeps her really occupied She also has been experiencing some dry skin and allergies out here in Texas so we were told to give her Benadryl when needed. So we also bring the peanut butter for that. For her size, she gets one and a half Benadryl when needed. We don't give it to her every day, um, twice a day. So we do put it in the peanut butter and then give it to her and she just thinks it's a treat. So it works. So she still has these little gadgets on, but we have a harness for her, which is this guy here. And her leash is here as well. And then she has a little pink collar on um and then we got her her tags at petco as well so everything we got at petco her harness was really cheap it was only like um 23 or something and it's worked really well she tends to pull a little when she's just on a collar so that's when we started her on a harness and it's worked great um leash harness collar everything is from petco we were told in puppy preschool to get her a six foot long leash and that tends to be what's best for training etc so we do have a six foot long leash but that's really the only thing that i can think of that's special about her stuff other than it's pink nick just reminded me you can never have enough poop bags um, so we bring tons of those everywhere we go. We have some in our purse. I'll do laundry and they're like shooting out of Nick's pockets and um, But it's the worst when you get caught without one. So poop bags so one of the things that I have learned um, if you get in a crunch with forgetting anything the ice Containers that they have in every single hotel is perfect if you forget like a water bowl or a food bowl for them so I just get the little plastic thing for you know sanitary reasons Are you sure this water sanitary? put it in there and then you can put either their water or their food or whatever um bowl you forgot yeah you gonna be able to get down in there yeah you want some water come here scout <laughs> come on So her crate and her bed that goes in the crate and some other toys are still downstairs. So we're gonna take you back down and show you those. Okay, so we're here at Scout's crib in the back of the car. Um, this is kind of her setup. We 
always, always, always bring her a towel. Um, like I said, we do a lot of swimming with her and um, she gets dirty and muddy a lot, so we never leave home without a towel. Uh, this is a blanket that we keep in here that just goes across the whole car, so um, it helps her feel comfortable. And then we have her crate under here. It's absolutely gigantic. And then we put her bed on the top of that so she can sleep on it and it's comfortable. So we also have just a few toys laying around back here for her to play with during the ride. Um, she's not really big on playing with her toys or um, chewing on her chew toys. She's either either sound asleep or on top of me just cuddling me. So it's kind of the, the car sitch. So our biggest priority when traveling with Scout is to get her tons and tons of exercise so she's tired when she's in the hotel and in the car. So Nick found this amazing place. She's such a water dog so anything water is absolutely perfect for her. Um, we brought a water ball toy that we bought at Target and then we just kind of type in things that are dog friendly or dog parks. Wind Surf Park is where we're at here. I think it's just outside of Dallas. So we're going to play with Scout. but Scout has been needing a bath. We try not to give her a bath unless she absolutely needs it and um, they said to not bathe her more than a couple times a month. So it's about time and it just worked out well with this video. We're going to stick her in the bath and then the other thing is that golden retrievers are very prone to ear infections. So after every time that she's in the water or um, if she's not in the water every two weeks, we do clean her ears. So we have to do that too. <laughs> tonight since she was in the water is we're going to do her ears so um, we got some ear solution they said like drenching and then we're just gonna put it in her ears for it's okay. It's okay. 15 to 30 seconds really get them in there good girl good girl and then you're just gonna massage them for 15 to 30 seconds so the fluid really gets in there. Good girl. And then the dogs are naturally gonna shake and that's a good thing once you get these out. And we're gonna have happy ears. Okay. <laughs> That's it. So to wrap up tonight, we're just gonna clean the tub and everything. We're very sensitive to the fact that people allow us to bring Scout places, so we try to be really respectful and leave places 
better than what we found it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. We'll continue our trip to Arkansas tomorrow and we'll see you then.